Hey YouTube, back once again, and I suppose this is going to be part two of this week's pickups. Um, this is going to be the unboxings. Um, if you didn't see last uh, the last video or part one, um, spoiler alert, uh, they're the pickups uh, for this last week. Um, pretty much all bought in stores, apart from one. I believe which came actually one of those is out of my collection which was just a, a compare and contrast sort of thing anyway um, i'm not going to ramble on we're just going to get into this um so we've got three parcels to one box uh two from amazon and one from zabby um we'll go with the one that came today first because that's something that if you've been watching uh, the pickups videos um i've had this in my collection uh, quite recently and traded it in uh, the other day um, and then just grabbed another one off Amazon because they're only three quid at the moment and they're trading in for five um, which means I'm probably going to get another one uh, and trade that in um, so this is a network release of Retroaction 3 um, we went through this last time but quickly we've got uh, just single episodes from tv series of the 60s and 70s so there's the zoo gang danger man return of the saint uh the baron the adventures of robin hood um hg wells invisible man and shirley's world uh some of those i've seen episodes before others prior to this release i've never even heard of um and that copy that i had I hadn't watched, so I've not actually seen physically what's on these or what's on this uh, release as yet. Um, obviously, this is number three. There are two others. Um, there's other two on Amazon at least. They're very expensive. Um, on CX, I think they're actually cheaper than this one. I think they're maybe four, six, or maybe even eight pounds. So maybe one of them's the same price as this. Certainly, no, they're not. One's four pounds, one's six pounds. I remember thinking, ten for the two. I might buy those if I can get them. Although, when you add the postage on top of that, you're looking at an extra one ninety five each. Um, so yeah, just happy to have that back again. Um, this one again came from Amazon. Arrived on Friday. Um, it was a pre order. It actually uh, street date was last Monday. Um, but uh, Amazon said it wouldn't be until Saturday that it was going to arrive. Um, but it actually arrived on Friday. So I got it a day earlier than I expected. Uh, and this is an 88 Films release. It is a Italian collection uh, of Witchcraft, a.k.a. La Casa. No, La Casa 4, even. Um, with the Hoff, I believe is in this, David Hasselhoff. Um, again, what looks to be an impressive extras uh, list there, but not all of it is extras. A lot of it's audio and video and all that sort of stuff, subtitles. Um, I forget what spine number this is. It's just 64, 65, something like that. So uh, one jump into it and take a look isn't this exciting you know, tune in especially to watch that. Now the plastic stuck to me hand. Right, so. Uh, 62, there we go. From 1988. And like I say, I'm pretty sure uh, that I can't read that. Oh yes, Linda Blair, of course. Remember that. David Hasselhoff, Linda Blair. Um, Linda Blair, shall I say. Is anybody there? That, anyone else there that I recognise? Don't know that there is. I 
I've never seen this. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to giving this a go. We've got a booklet. Yeah, but again, not as quite as extensive as the one we saw in Operation Condor, but still a little bit better than uh, than they've done in the past. So they're certainly getting better at uh, this uh, old uh, extras thing. Uh, I mean, some of these early releases had next to nothing inside them, and you saw that uh, in the last video. If you saw the last video, that piece of paper that was in scalps that was supposed to be an art card was uh, <laughs> just comical. Um, so it's, yeah, it's the usual green disc for these Italian collections um, and we've got pretty much the same artwork inside but with the Italian uh, Italian title um, which is actually one thing I do believe 88 Films have, has improved on so much recently is their slip covers. Um, because some of their earlier slip covers, the artwork was pretty ropey. Um, not all of them. Some were some were very well done, but others just looked really badly photoshopped. Um, but one thing that really irks me about some of those early early um, slips is it's all Italian. You've got the Italian title on the cover and the Italian title on the spine on the slips. Um, so when they're all lined up. With the slips on the shelf, I have no idea what half of them are. I've got to take them off, pull them out of the plastic uh, protective cases that I've got, uh, then pull them out of the slip cover just to see which actual film it is. Some of them are easier to guess than others by the covers, but again, some of them I'm still not sure about. But um, yeah, I'm chuffed to have got this one. Um, another one came out on Monday as well, which um, I'm gonna have to get, but. Uh, I've kind of already uh, with release new releases or new purchases this month. I've kind of gone a bit overboard already, and uh, next month I've <laughs> I've overspent as well on um, on pre-orders. So uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen with with that one or when I'm going to get it. But at least that's one more to tick off the list. Oh, I've left the disc. Now this last one comes from Zavi. I'll leave the knife because I'm going to need that in a minute. Um, now this, I would have preferred if this had been sent in a box if I'm honest, but it is what it is. Um, I completely forgot that this was been released. Um, it was on Arrow's uh, release schedule or shown on their release every month they do a, what's coming up in I think, I think they do it three months ahead and this was released in April so it was probably on January's list and I kind of glossed over it at the time because it was a film that I wasn't familiar with and even though it was a limited edition I thought yeah I'll probably end up getting that um, and then of course lockdown came along and uh, totally missed the release of it and it wasn't until maybe a couple of weeks ago maybe a little bit more um i think i was on amazon i'm sure i was on amazon i, I just did a search for arrow films um searching from newest released first and looking through what was coming up and what had been released and i spotted this and i thought oh my goodness i completely forgotten all about that uh, and there was no, there was none left. Arrow, Arrow, Amazon had sold out, and there was only marketplace sellers. And the cheapest one was forty nine ninety nine. I thought I'm not paying that, so I went to Arrow's website, and they'd sold out. So I thought, oh, well, there you go then, I'm not going to get one. Um, eBay, there was there was hovering around the thirty pound mark. Um, older ones, older sales going back a month or two were a little bit cheaper, they're in the sort of 70, 70 to 20 pounds, something like that. And then one came on uh, last week, it was used, but it was complete for 26 pounds by now. I thought, you know what, I'll probably get that. It's the cheapest one I've seen. Um, and for, for reasons I cannot fathom why, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to check. So I, I had to look for a, 
um, there's a, a price comparison site, which I can't remember what it's called, that uh, compares the price of Blu-rays and DVDs over all the online sites. Um, and it showed because Abby had this for 16 99 or 17 99 I'm not sure. So, beyond the door, um, I know very little about this other than what's mentioned on here. Um, I went to Zavi uh, and I saw that it was in stock and I was so pleased. Um, went to check out and then remembered that Zavi do this. Um, if you want free postage, you've got to uh, do their their sort of their version of Amazon Prime, except it is cheaper, but it's still a bit cheeky. That you've got to pay ten pounds for a year, which I, I guess if you're buying a lot from Zavi, it's not that much. But I buy from Zavi once in a blue moon. So anyway, I paid the, the two pound postage, but I, I I've got Honey on my computer, so I clicked on Honey, and it found a ten percent discount code. So in the end, I paid was it fifteen pounds? Says on the cover, on the envelope there, fifteen pounds twenty nine. I paid for this, um, but I'd sold some stuff on eBay, and I had some money um, that had been sent into me a PayPal account. So I had about nine pounds in my PayPal account. So it only cost me a little over a fiver of my own actual money for this. So yeah, really chuffed. Um, so we're going to get into this and have a look. Um, I want to say, it looks as if there is a poster in this one. Um, there's one I've been looking at recently, or maybe it's um, Creepshow, that doesn't have a poster. But this looks like it does have a poster inside. So. Uh, ooh, that feels a little like it's snagging. There we go. Make sure we don't uh, cut the book. Oh, we've balls that up. I don't know why I'm doing this because I'm only going to end up pulling it off anyway at some point. Here's a question someone might be able to answer for me. Collectors out there. So I've been buying these plastic protector sleeves my slip covers these work with uh, steel books as well but for for the slip covers or certain slip covers at least i've been buying these protective sleeves um which i put on pretty much all i think i need a few more just to get the last few of the 88 films slip covers um but this seems to be pretty much a standard size now for arrow limited editions so does anybody know does anybody make one of these that size that'll, that'll fit one of these inside and and i'm talking about fit nice and snug not it's going to rattle about inside something that's made specifically for these arrow um limited editions i'd be i'd be intrigued to know if anybody knows if they exist right are we in uh, it looks like we are bit of a mess but we're in um so let's just pop everything out i believe this is a 3d set i've got some plastic there um so we've got the book which again is a very comprehensive arrow release and it's got that smell i love that newly opened <sighs> the smell of these it's uh, it's intoxicating and yeah, we've got the poster, which I'm going to guess is that cover. I was going to say that, but it doesn't look like it's that. But it'd be whatever the uh, the reverse sleeve is on that, I, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, we've got uh, what I'm assuming is the newly commissioned artwork. I'm sure it must be, and this will be an older... I like that actually, that's quite nice. Very simple, but uh, did that say Richard Jordan? Oh, Richard Johnson, let's say. Hmm. So, this is, yeah, it's, it's, oh no, it's only two discs. For some reason, I thought it was three. So, we've got an art card for the game, 
Um, that was a film I only discovered on HD DVD. Um, I don't know exactly when, but I would probably say it was in the last 10 years, probably the earlier half of the last 10 years. Um, but it had, it had escaped me for many, many years. And I've got to say, I loved it. Uh, getting back on point. So we've got uh, art cards, which I shouldn't really be looking at because if there's any uh, spoilers on there for a film that I've not seen, normally I go through the art cards, but nine times out of ten, more often than not, these limited editions, the film there are films I've already seen. Um, this film... I didn't even know existed um, so I'm actually not going to look through them just now so we've got the uncut English export version and the US theatrical version um, I wonder what the differences are is there, a, is there something there that tells you the uh, Running time, so one's 100 and 108, and the other one's 98, so uh, or 96, 98. So there's 10 minutes difference. Um, but which is which? Which is the longer one? And is it is it the case that the longer one just has 10 minutes of extra footage, or does it have? Does each version have footage that the other one doesn't? I.e., the longer one has. I've had has had footage removed that's in the shorter one and vice versa. Um been intrigued to know that as well. Um I'm not gonna watch this tonight, if I'm honest. Um time's getting on already. It's uh it's after nine o'clock and I haven't even had my tea yet. I'm getting quite hungry. Um and I'm on late tour this week, which means I'm not gonna get home till close on midnight. Um so I don't think I'll get to watch this now till Friday at the earliest. Um, but I'm intrigued. Uh, in the meantime, if anyone's got any recommendations as a first time viewing, which one of these to watch first? Does it matter? Um, again, I'd be intrigued to know about that. Like this. And again, it's a nice Arrow hard box release, which I appreciate, and I've said that many times before, but I really do. So, I'm just going to pop all this back in. Probably should have put that in first, but there we go. So, beyond the door. Witchcraft and a replacement copy of Retro Action 3, which may well end up getting traded in again. Um, I guess while uh, CEX are trading those in for five quid and Amazon are only selling them for three quid, I'll just keep doing that. I'll trade one in and order one, and then I won't order another one until I've traded another one in. Why not? 23 quid a time, get five pound back. Good deal. Um, right, that's me done uh, for this week. Actually, it's not me done for this week. Um, I did briefly um, mention in the last video, I've still got this parcel that I haven't opened yet. And uh, I was, well, I still am bought these specifically because I wanted them, I needed them, but also so I could do a video and I've kind of been in a bit of a, what's the right word, I've not really been in, in the, uh, the making YouTube videos mood, let's just put it that way, so I've been kind of putting it off and putting it off and I've put it off to a point that <laughs> somebody else has done another video Kind of similar to what I was going to do, um, and I'm I'm not faulting them at all for doing that because it's it's pretty good information. I'm I'm uh, I'm very pleased, um, but mine is a different take anyway, so I'm not going to get that done tonight. Um, but 
probably sometime this week um, I'll do that video but we're done that's it um, yeah thanks very much for watching um, hopefully we'll have some charity shops open this week oh car boot sale I totally forgot to mention the car boot sale I went to the car boot sale this morning and it was closed the gates were shut the gates were locked I couldn't believe it it's the first Sunday that I've had a chance to get there the last two weeks um, I can't remember what, what, when did it start or when was it supposed to start last week certainly Sunday morning was was drizzly and it came out nice in the afternoon the Sunday before it was raining and I remember thinking it's a shame I couldn't get to the car boot sale but I don't I'm not sure whether that was the first real Sunday that they opened or could have opened should I say um, there are other car boot sales of course it's just this particular one's the most convenient for me and it's with it being Father's Day as well it's it's sort of or pretty much as the crow flies halfway between here and my dad's so I was going to go there first and then go to my dad's um, yeah but like I say <laughs> it was closed and I was gutted um, but yeah there are more car boot sales um, I wonder if the race course is open because they do a Thursday morning and I'm on late this week so that's worth looking into and I'm just speaking out loud now totally rambling on and if anybody's still actually watching um, thumbs up well done um, yeah so I know, I know I've said this but thanks very much for watching once more and uh, yeah, I will definitely see you in the next one. I think when my train of thought was going and I got sidetracked there, was hopefully there's going to be charity shops open this week. I got um, news. It's not really news. Um, I got information that a charity shop that I don't really go to that often now. It's the big um, out-of-town daisy chain, um, what used to be a massive carpet superstore. Um, but when they closed down the, the charity shop, went in. it's mostly furniture, but they do have a more reduced section now of, of movies. And it might even be less. I've not, I don't think I've been in there for a year. Um, just because selection was so poor um, and the quality was even worse. They, they never check. Um, I, I say they never check. I don't know if that's true. Either they, they, they don't check or they just don't care. But either way. The, the stuff that used to end up on the shelf was incredibly bad uh, condition in, in a lot of cases. Not in every case. Um, but I got to the point where I just stopped going. But my dad told me today um, that they are open. Not open on a Sunday, fortunately, but they're open during the week. So it might be worth a trip in there. It's, it's a while since I've been. Um, I might be surprised. I doubt that I will be, but I might be surprised. Um, that said, <laughs> this time I'm definitely finishing. Um, yeah, ta-ra.